In this video, we'll talk about threads. Now, what are threads? Now, think about this. When you run the application, of course, the software which you have written, it will be running on an OS, right? And below the OS, you have a layer which is called hardware. So if you want to represent this, uh, what we normally have is we have a software which you build, of course. So let's say this is your software. And this software basically runs on an OS. Of course, on this OS, you'll be having multiple softwares, right? And underlying, there is a hardware, right? So this is where you have the physical set. Example in this, uh, you will be having your CPU, you will be having your RAM. This is what we use to run applications, right? Now, if you talk about RAM, RAM acts like a temporary memory for your processing and your CPU is basically something which executes something, okay? So let's say in, in your software, if you, even if you want to add two numbers, let's keep it very simple. Let's say if you want to add two numbers by saying two plus two, now that operation will go to OS and OS will say, okay, you want to add two numbers. Let me just send the request to the CPU. Of course, CPU will do the processing, right? Now CPU says, okay, that's a task. I just have to add two numbers. It will do some processing and then you got the output. The thing is, for a simple operation, it's, it's so simple, right? But then what if you are running a big software? Let's say uh, this is your software. And apart from this, you have multiple softwares which you want to run on the same OS. Now. Of course, in your, in your system, you'll be having multiple uh, softwares, right? And then sometime you want to run that at the same time. So that means OS should support multiple software working at the same time. So can we say that that's multitasking, right? So we have multiple tasks running at the same time, okay? Now, most of the modern OS does support that. The thing is, it's not like they are executing this at the same time. So on the CPU, there's a concept of time sharing. Example, let's say, this software one, this software two, this software three. Uh, let me just remove this part for time being. Yeah. So let's say if you have three softwares here, which is which you want to run on the OS, uh, they will be going in time sharing. So your OS say, OS can say, hey, uh, the first software you execute. It will say, okay, second software now you execute, and then they will be executing parallelly by sharing the time. Okay. That's one thing. So that's why we can achieve multiple tasking. And that's why, you know, at the same time, you can browse a web page, you can listen to a music, you can type a code. So you can do all those things at the same time because you have a concept of multitasking. But if you talk about one single task, okay, what if you want to break this, break down this task into multiple things? It is possible that in the same software, you have multiple process or multiple things to run at the same time. Let me give an example here. Let's say you are writing something on the editor. So we are using VS Code, right? Now, the moment you write something on VS Code, let's say if I say A, B, C, uh, you can see the moment I type it, it is showing me that it, it is showing the text on the software. It is also showing us the error, right? So that means these two things are happening at the same time. Maybe uh, we can also enable some sound effects. The moment I type A, it should create a sound effect. So we are doing multiple things at the same time in the same software. So that means it's not just about multitasking, it's also about dividing your task into small things, the smallest unit. How can we do that? And that's where we have a concept of threads. So in the same task, in the same program, you can have multiple threads running at the same time. Okay, so example, when you play game, you know, any game which you play, maybe Mario or cricket or football, I'm talking about video games, okay? Now at that point, what happens, you know, if you talk about football, let's say, if you have multiple players running at the same time, the ball is moving at the same time, uh, the audience is cheering for the, at the same time. So you have multiple things happening at the same time. So that is possible with the help of multiple threads. In fact, if you see your activity manager on Mac, or if you go to task manager on Windows, you can see whatever task you have. Example, I have a Discord helper here. Uh, we got login window, we got uh, code helper. So all these softwares are running, right? Stream Deck, Zoom OS, uh, Zoom, uh, Zoom software, everything is running. Now all those are tasks and individual tasks, if you can see, we have threads there. So the kernel is consuming highest number of threads, 524. Uh, then we got Java because we are running Java behind the scene. So Java is using 20, uh, 20, 42 threads, right? So in a task as well, you have the smallest unit. The beauty is they can run parallelly. And it, they are lightweight basically. They don't they they also share the resources. It's not like if you have 42 threads, 
they will consume 42 different resources. No, they multiple threads can share resources. And that's why threads are important to understand. So in the upcoming videos, we'll focus more on threads. So I hope you got the gist, what is threads? And uh, yeah, just to redefine, that's a smallest unit which you can work with. And of course you can run multiple threads at the same time.